I've never, ever, in my 20 years of being in the plumbing trades, ever replaced an anode rod until today. Peter, mm -hmm. there's one thing I really hate about New Yorkers. What is that? They don't know how to drive. They don't drive with a purpose. Don't you know that getting from point A to point B in the most efficient means possible is just epic. Look at this. I'm sitting in traffic because people don't know how to drive. People should should drive like in cadence, you know, like when you're um, like in the military, you know, right? the whole platoon moves at once here. I could be at a red light. It turns green. I may not make that fucking green light. Oh, man, I cursed again. Damn it. Nana Claire, please don't wash my mouth out with soap. I already got beat up yesterday and you should really see the other guy. Oh, man, it was rough and it hurts. It really hurts. Oof. You should see the video yesterday with the Will McLean with the golf ball in it. Oof. Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Peter Piper. With Peter Piper Plus One. Thank you so much for tuning in. Wednesday, November 30th, 2022. We just left a estimate service call in Bethpage, which is in Nassau County on Long Island. The gentleman wanted wanted once maybe i persuade him to wait wants to convert from ugly and disgusting home heating oil you know that smells it's gross you know that stuff that's just gross and he wants to and go all electric i think i think maybe maybe he's part of the new green deal maybe he, he loves aoc but i'm all for yeah i don't think so i'm all for electrification but we gotta work in baby steps we cannot we can't run before we can walk. And we can't walk before we can crawl. Facts. The infrastructure does not support everyone electrifying their homes, you know, with heat pumps and electric cars. This doesn't work that way. It doesn't. But anyway, we gave him some information. And we're heading over to a very good uh, new client of ours over in Malvern. I was there on Sunday and um, I showed you the community on Sunday's video with the A.O. Smith Cyclone 50 gallon gas fired water heater that hacks really bring me stacks. They really do. And when I talk about little stacks, like little baby stacks, we're talking about effing stacks of cash. Another contractor went out there and apparently, quote unquote, cleaned the, the igniter. But that was nowhere near accurate. And that was a blatant lie. And I don't want to call out the company name again, but I hopefully they reached out to this homeowner, the homeowner, the property owner of this tavern bar in Malvern. And hopefully they sent them his money back. This is a really nice guy. And this guy really gives back to the community of Malvern. You know, and this is a very old establishment, really nice guy. And I'm going to show you the proper way in this video on how to do preventative maintenance, annual maintenance on the A.O. Smith Cyclone. So stay tuned. And I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. You know, yesterday, yesterday we hit 50,000 subscribers, right? The next milestone is 100,000. I think we're going to do that in the next six months. I really do. So please take a moment and just with your mouse or your finger on your, if you're on a smartphone or a tablet, just touch that subscribe button. It's right down below. Hit that subscribe button. And if you've done that already, I want you to hit that notification bell to get post notifications when I post a video. And if you really want to get into bed with me, I want you to hit that thumbs up button. Just like that. Let's get going, guys. Thank you. Peter, I think we're going to have a giveaway right now. We're going to have a giveaway right we're now. We're on Hempstead Turnpike in Uniondale right now. We're driving westbound. And we're just passing the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum. That's, that's not the Nassau Coliseum. Let's give it respect where respect is due. It's called the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum. That's what it's called. And as we're driving by that, and it was past Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center here, 
on Hempstead Turnpike in Uniondale. I was like, you know what? I'm, an, I'm feeling generous today. We're going to have a giveaway. And if you're a Rangers fan, the Rangers are playing the Ottawa Senators on Friday, December 2nd at 7 p.m. in Madison Square Garden. That's right. And I have season tickets. I'm seated. I have two seats in section 119. And there's no one sitting in front of me. There's no one. It's kind of like you've been to the Nets game last year, right? Yeah. There's no one sitting in front of you, right? That's because hacks bring me stacks and stacks of uh, baseball, uh, football, t uh, football tickets. <laughs> they take two. Hacks bring me stacks of season tickets. So if you would like to see the New York Rangers play the Ottawa Senators this Friday, December 2nd, at 7 p.m. at Madison Square Garden, you're going to be seated in row C of section 119. I'm going to give you two tickets. Two tickets, right? And we're going to do it this way. This is how we're going to do it. Let me tell you how we're going to do it. You're going to write a meaningful comment in the comment section down below of this video. Right? You must Proving, well, if you win, you need to prove you're a subscriber. But you're going to write a meaningful comment of relevance. No one's just saying, hey, Mikey Pipes, I love you. No, no homo, by the way. <laughs> Something meaningful on why I should give you these tickets. Hopefully bring your kid with you, or maybe your wife, or maybe your husband, your significant other. Um, and I got you two tickets to this Friday's game at Madison Square Garden. I'm going to use the YouTube random comment generator on a video tomorrow night which will be the 1st of December. What's tomorrow's date? Tomorrow is... What was the 1st? Tomorrow's the 1st. So tomorrow night, we're going to do a live stream, and I'm going to use the YouTube random comment generator to pick one lucky winner. And they're going to they're gonna reply, they're going to email me if they're the winner with a screenshot showing they're a subscriber. Okay? And I'm going to give you two tickets with the value of $1,000. The face value is like $490, all right? So I'm going to give you my money and my tickets because I love you and I want to give back, okay? How's that sound? That's pretty epic, right? That's pretty, That's pretty epic. That's pretty you want to go to the Rangers game? I think you go to the Rangers game already? Uh, I was going to, and then I got COVID. <laughs> you got COVID. <laughs> all right, so Peter, how about you want to go Saturday, December 3rd at 7.30? The New York Rangers are playing the Seahawks. Seahawks? The Blackhawks. Hold on, Blackhawks. They haven't got canceled out yet. Blackhawks. Oh, yeah, you want to go to that game? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Here, I'm gonna do that. See, there it is, right there in the app. I'm gonna go. Oh, I sold those already. Oh shit! Look, <laughs> it's sold. Uh oh, hold on. Let me check on the Ottawa Senators. No, they're still listed. Still See, I'm gonna cancel the listing. All right. Yes. Let's pick the next game, Peter. Because people think there's some haters out there, by the way. They really are. They're haters. There are haters that troll other channels. And when people comment about me, they try to bash me. They really do. They're hating. People love to hate. People love to hate. Don't hate the success, buddy. Don't hate it. Come on. Jealousy. Jealousy. All right. How about... Damn. I got you, bro. I got you. Don't worry. It's coming. I'm looking for a, a, a good game where I know I'm not going to go to, which is a Friday night game or a Saturday after Saturday game. I'm not going to go to that, but I don't see any. We're, oh, oh, you like the, the Vegas Golden Knights? Oh, yeah, that's the new team. Yes. Friday, January 27th. Do you want to go to that game? Sure. Here you go. So my ticket's right there. See, I'm keeping it real. I am going to... I'm going to cancel the listing because it's, it's listed to be sold. Okay. And now I'm going to transfer these two seats, see, right there. And I'm gonna send them to Peter. You're my contact, Peter. Peter Campbell, there you go. That's that, boom. Transfer two tickets. Here are the two tickets, see, there it is. Okay, it was just sent to you. Thank you very much. Sharing is caring. Remember to smash that thumbs up button, guys. And remember, a, a, a meaningful comment on why I should give you those tickets. Okay? Let's go fix 
not the fix. Let's go uh, hook up this AOS cycle. It's gonna be fun. And we're gonna learn something together today. We're gonna learn something together today. And together, like I said on my Mikey Pipes Uncensored channel video this morning, I posted while I was walking the dogs. Together, and I really mean this. I really genuinely mean this. Together, we are going to make the trades great again. Because we need to leave as the older generation retires and we get older. We need to give it to the younger generation like Peter, like his brother, and like Anthony who I just hired. 20 year old kid in BOCES, graduating BOCES in a few months, plumbing, trades. We need to leave the trades to the younger generations. Otherwise, our kids and our grandkids, well, they're gonna be screwed. All right, they're gonna be screwed. So stick around, smash that thumbs up button, and please subscribe, please. I really, I implore you, thank you so much. 100,000 subscribers, six months, that's the goal, guys. Let's make it happen. Here we are, we're back. There it is, the A.O. Smith Cyclone. I've seen one of these. Looks pretty cool, huh? That's a pretty cool water heater. And what's really nice is that, look, it's 162 degrees. So a lot of people are asking me on the comment section on Friday's video, like, hey, Mikey Pipes, like, why not give them a regular atmospheric water heater? I was like, because you need the higher temperature. We're in a restaurant. They need that hot water. All right, so Peter, we're going to get the manual. Mm -hmm. It's in the binder that we're going to leave here with the, with the job. Let's get the little step stool, get the tool bag. And I got gloves. Let's get rocking and rolling. You see? This is how I take care of my customers. There's the AO Smith the Cyclone Manual for the BTX100 Series 140. Look at that. There's a printed manual with parts and everything in there, all right? We're going to leave this here because that's how you build relationships. You good? Do you have to use the bathroom? You have to use the bathroom? Mm -hmm. This is what you do. Walk in that door. You're going to be in the kitchen, which is a nice clean kitchen, by the way. And you're going to see a young lady there slicing up a cucumber. Okay. Ask her where the bathroom is. Okay. <laughs> you guys, you see, you got to laugh. You got to have fun. And if you're tired of working for a mediocre company and you're in the plumbing or HVAC trades and you got some residential experience or you want to do residential, let me tell you something. The rewards and the possibilities are endless, endless. And I'm hiring. I'm always hiring. And I'll put you in a brand new Sprinter with a nice new uniform, your name on it, all that good stuff. That's how I take care of my guys, because we're a team and we're a family. All right, let's get the show on the road. Here we go. I'm gonna carefully remove this bezel, which is screwed in there and there. It's a nice little bezel. I've been to many cyclones, especially like, oh, the worst one was Wings and Things on Dutch Broadway in Elmont, literally behind here. Cucarachas, you know, cockroaches, gross and cockroach eggs, absolutely disgusting. So we got a little step stool right here. Let's get that nice and level ground. And we're gonna get up here and we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna disconnect power, lay that down off to the side. Switch doesn't really matter at this point, but we need to get inside here, right? We have to expose our anode rod and we wanna take the burner out because we're gonna change the gasket and the uh, flame spark sensors. Okay, I'm gonna take a 5 16 I'm gonna loosen up that gasket right there. And we're gonna remove the fresh air intake here. Uh, let's go a screwdriver and let's undo that screw right there. And let's take out the fresh air intake, which is just taking fresh air from this closet. When we're removing the fresh air pipe, there is a sensor right here that gets hooked up to a pressure switch. Uh, that's for the air proving switch. Make sure it's got proper combustion air for it. So we're gonna take that, make sure we disconnect the, the uh, pressure switch tubing there. We'll put that up to the side. Also on that pressure switch tubing, you're gonna notice, all right, it goes, there's multiple pressure sensors here. One, two, and three, right? This one goes to the gas valve. So we're just gonna take that off right there. Okay, push that off to the side and next, we have our power, which is there. We're gonna use a Phillips screwdriver to take that. Uh, actually, we're gonna do the flat screwdriver, small flat to take that out. All right, so I removed the screw and the electric harness. And yes, that says, that says Honeywell right there off of the gas valve. Next, we're going to get a wrench, pipe wrench, take that off. We're gonna turn the gas off. And um, off camera, Peter had a quick question, which was, it was um, me and Danny once we, I think like a month ago, we replaced a 
It was a water heater that had the top of a power vent on it. It was like making So it was an illegally converted yeah. uh, atmospheric venting that used a chimney and they put the old power vent assembly on top of it. Yeah. And you had asked what what you know this is looks totally different. totally different than a, a power vent that you and Daniel put in your brother. Uh, and the main reason that a this is commercial and that's residential and but b a, it's commercial, but it needs a lot more. It, it, it doesn't go, it doesn't stop at 120 degrees, or 140 degrees, mm -hmm. right? We have scalding conditions coming out of this water heater, right? Because we have the higher temperature. But also, a 40 or 50 gallon atmospheric venting water heater like A.O. Smith, uh, Ream, uh, Bradford White, they use 40,000 BTUs of gas and they can be vented with four inch uh, steel vent pipe. Mm -hmm. This water heater is a hundred thousand BTUs, still 50 gallons. Right. If you take this stuff off the top, it may even be a little bit smaller in dimension size, mm -hmm. right? Width and height. It's about the same size, I guess, as a 50 gallon AO Smith, right? Yeah. But it's a power vented commercial cyclone. Cyclone is the model. Um, it normally says it there, but it doesn't. But there it is the BTX 100 Series 140. Okay. Uh, let's get a pipe wrench. Let's undo this union. And then we're going to try to pull this uh, blower and gas valve assembly out after we undo the bolts. We have another pressure switch tube, which goes to there. That comes from that pressure switch. This is the leftmost. All right, this is the this prover there. This is inlet, inlet, and that one says something else. But another observation with this uh, thing is there is a pressure tube that goes down the side of uh, uh, following the exhaust which goes into the condensate trap, which was not connected. And we'll, we'll try to resolve that today as well. And another observation from Sunday's video. I know you probably didn't watch it, Peter, but you see all that dope that's right there, mm -hmm. right? You don't need dope on the face of the union. Yeah. I didn't, I listen mm -hmm. on Sunday. I was, I should have cleaned it off, but I didn't. I'm keeping it real. If you put dope on a face of a union, you're a hack, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm never, right? I've never seen that. It's a, it's a matted surface. Made it surface, right? They, they're machined together. Nothing needs to be there. And if you want, you I guess you could put some dope on the threads themselves to help it smooth the, the, the tightening process. Mm -hmm. But it's a matted, perfectly machined surface. They, they match together. No need for anything there. If you put it there, you're just an idiot. Okay, I'm, calling, I'm keeping it real. And you don't deserve New York Rangers tickets like I'm giving out in this video. Okay, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> All right, next we have these, these nuts right here that I got to take out. There's one, two, three, and four. We need half inch. Where's my, here's my half inch. We're gonna take the extension and put that onto there, please. See one handedly. I'm gonna undo these two bolts and I'm gonna use this bad boy right here. Okay. And I'm going to undo that one and this one right there. Okay, I got the four bolts and nuts removed. The gas valve assembly will come out. We have to loosen up some other wires there, like that one right there. And we have to remove power to blower and the communicating wire to blower, All right? And that should be about it. No, we also have the, this wire as well, it's gotta come out. And yeah, that's it. Note to self. If you're an installer, leave some more room <laughs> for disassembly. Here we go. Let's take a look at this bad boy. There's the rest remnants of that gasket. Let's, uh, oh, look, there's a bench right here. Let's put this down right here. Okay. And there it is. So, Sunday, I was here, and these uh, flame rods or spark igniter rods, Right. This is where the ignition occurs, where a spark from the ignition needs to occur. That's a flame sensor. All right. This, right, was looks like it hasn't been touched probably in about 20 years. Seriously, it had that much buildup on it, and that's what prevented um, from spark from occurring. And hence, we had no ignition, and they had no hot water, which means the restaurant couldn't function legally. You know. All right, in the back of the truck, we have a small box that we got from SupplyHouse.com. Real people, real service, and not a sponsor of the channel, but. I ordered parts on Sunday on SupplyHouse.com's website. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a notification later on day on Sunday that my parts have shipped, that's and now we have. That's excellent. Yes. Yesterday, Tuesday, the parts came in that they didn't ship on Sunday, but the UPS picked them up on Monday, and I got them yesterday. And today's Wednesday, and here they are. 
Wednesday's a great day. Not only are we going to refurbish this A.O. Smith 50-gallon Cyclone, but we're also giving away Rangers tickets to this Friday's game. you got to pay attention to the video. I already told you how to win, right? This Friday's game, rinkside, section 119, Rangers versus the Ottawa Senators. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button and please subscribe. Yesterday we hit 50,000 subscribers. Six months is the goal, 100,000 subscribers. And we know we can do it with your help. Thank you. Let's get going. But I hear, I heard from a grapevine that someone recommended you to me. Oh, yeah, Cody. Yeah. I told you that on the phone. Oh, I didn't, I didn't hear that. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. His dad does my, uh, his dad, Tony. Your appliance? Does my dishwasher. Excellent. This is what's He's, left. By the way, this is what was left of the gasket that prevents flame from shooting out of the top of this water heater. <laughs> that kid had to do that. Yeah. Fucking you, you ended up finding the invoice that they gave you? No. Did he really say he cleaned the flame rods? I think I took it and just, I was so You pissed. were so pissed off. Here you go. $408 that they charged you? 460 That's disgusting, by the way. Why'd you pay it? I know you're a, I know you're a nice guy, but I know you know the owner. I know the owner. You should reach out to him and say, listen, you know what? He comes in here once in a while. I didn't want it. I just never use the guy again. I'm like that. I think I'm going to come here more than once in a while. This is because your kitchen is so clean. Yeah, thank you. It's not every day you see a, a clean a clean kitchen. And the food is good. The food is How are the wings? The wings are excellent. When you guys are finished, well, if there's a cook here, it depends on what time you're finished. Uh -huh. Something to eat, guys. Maybe maybe an Irish car bomb with his accent. I think he'd make a bad badass Irish car bomb. What do you really think? <laughs> and that's what works for me. And that is how together we are going to make the trades great again. We need to instill the the skills and also the, the communication level, how we talk to our clients, our homeowners, our, our, the people that we interact with in, in the normal course of business and develop and strengthen relationships. Look at this. I'm going to be the plumber and the HVAC guy for this establishment. And I'll probably do his house and then his family's house and his neighbors and his friends. And the possibilities are endless. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not fabricating stuff up here. I'm not making things out of the top of my head. It's proven methods that work that work okay one of the things I, I just sent peter the truck for are these brushes because if we take a look at how much buildup is inside this burner tube it's just disgusting it's disgusting so we're going to put peter on the job we're going to take one of the this one's definitely softer this one i'll use this one right here and I just like try to scrape down the sides of this don't drop the flashlight i'm going to give you the flashlight but and i'm going to work on the igniter okay. okay you got that all right so let's take a look at the manual on what needs to be done here periodically or annually. Let's go to the instruction manual. Here it is. I took the liberty of printing this from A.O. Smith's website called hotwater.com. I printed the parts replacement list, right, which are all these right here, and some other accessories. Here it is, the instruction manual. And let's go to the table of contents. And let's look for maintenance. Here we go, periodic maintenance, venting inspection, anode rod inspection, a powered anode rod. Hmm, interesting. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it has something to do with power. Uh, temperature and pressure relief valve and draining and flushing. Excellent. And then page 50 is service. So let's start on page 48. And I will go to that page and you guys can feel free to pause. I already know what the manual says, but let's go to page 48. And feel free to pause the screen right here. And here. Okay, and let's go there as well. Okay, now that's out of the way. Let's take our presents from supplyhouse.com and rebuild this uh, burner assembly. All right, it's quite difficult, but if you use a flat screwdriver, you can pry off the rubber insulating high temperature silicone gasket from that opening right there. And then we're gonna use our Looks like a Phillips screwdriver, Phillips bit. Take off that right there. It's hard doing things one-handed. I should be wearing my GoPro. Look at that. There it is. Definitely seen better days. That's the business we took it out in, by the way. Make sure we put it in the right way. All right, our new igniter is in. Slightly different, but I don't think that's a problem. Right now we're cleaning the, I guess the flange 
of the burner assembly, which sits inside the burner tube or the combustion chamber tube. I'm gonna clean that up. I also have that red silicone gasket there. Um, this one, I'm inclined to change it, um, but I am not touching it, so I may just leave it. But I just wanna clean that surface because I'm gonna put the new gasket on. I gotta be honest with you guys. I've never, ever, in my 20 years of being in the plumbing trades, ever replaced an anode rod until today. And the only reason why I'm doing this, because I wanna see, because I'm gonna be here forever. I wanna see, if I change these anode rods, is this, is this business owner, really nice guy, is he gonna get more life out of this cyclone? Let's get it done. All right, let's drain this heater a little Got bit. Got a little hose. Why ain't nothing coming out of this thing? Oh, cocky, that's why. That was actually take two. The cocky was there to begin with. Uh, relief valve, no drip lag. <laughs> what else is in here? Uh, we, have to, we have to clean up a little bit here. We're running out of space. I'm gonna pop open the relief valve, missing a drip lag. You know we're gonna add a drip lag here. You know, I'm gonna keep Peter, it. Peter, I don't get the whole deal with drip legs. You know, I know they're not commonly put on, you know, appliances that have a relief valve on them. But come on, if, like yesterday, we did that Ultra 3. The damn thing's pointing right at you if you're working on the Ultra 3. You need to have a drip leg on that thing. This thing is pointing down. I, I get it, you know. Yeah. It could avoid splashing a hazard, right? Especially if it goes at temperature. Oh, oh that, that's, that, would that would hurt. That'd be like first degree pipe burns. Yeah. So we're draining a little bit of this water out of here. And we'll try to get out the uh, anode rod. First time ever, Mikey Pipes, you're gonna watch it right now. And make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you very much. I am gonna keep saying subscribe until we hit 100,000 subscribers. I am gonna say it so much, you're gonna choke on it as I shove it down your throat. Subscribe. All right, there is my anode rod right there. That's an inch and 1 16th socket. Let's grab. Where's the, where's the... Oh, it's still in the truck. Is it by... Oh, did I give it to you? <clears throat> no. I didn't oh. give you the inch and 16th. I didn't know that. <laughs> really? It's in my po Not in my pocket. <laughs> um, I sprayed down the uh, the hex nut with some uh, croil oil. It's great stuff, by the way, guys. It's the oil that creeps. And we're not talking about Mikey Pipes creeping to your girl's DM either. It's the oil that creeps. You see, I could be funny. <laughs> right? I could be funny. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Fits in there like a glove. Right there, look at that. Okay, now we have this bar. And we're gonna try to break it. There you go. Film me being an idiot. First time. Let's see. Jesus Christ. There you go, motherfucker. Nice. I had flat, real briefly, by the way. I had flashbacks. I really had flashbacks to 24 hours ago. Uh. I had a feeling that thing was gonna break, break <laughs> my face open, and that's gonna be really make some epic content. Because there's some real haters out there, by the way. Look at you. Some some people really hate me out there, by the way. I don't know why. People, they love to hate. They love people to hate. I know. Successful. And like yesterday, that guy R. J. Herber, right, blasting Daniel. Like, look at your boss on his YouTube channel yesterday. Uh, I mean, made I made an Ultra Three illegal. He made the Ultra 3 illegal because you can't, you have to use an outdoor temperature sensor. These freaking guys, man. Like, yo, bro, shut the front door. Like, literally, shut the front door. Yesterday's Ultra 3, Ultra 4, 240, sorry, 230, was actually hooked up at a lot of zones, right? We had the one with a radiant manifold system, had like eight zones on that, but six zones, right? Yeah. Six zones. We're all hydro coils off of air handlers that need 180 degrees of water. Okay, for the first time in my career, 20 years, my career is long, and I learned from the school of hard knocks. Yeah, school of hard knocks, bro. Gangsta. Gangsta. Okay. You think it's gonna be intact? I don't know, actually. I'm gonna go with no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with it. Well, I want this Head thing to come out already. Quarter disintegrator. Oh, hold on, let me answer this phone call. Oh, she picked the phone. 
to it. All right, wagers. Wagers, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a wager. Closes without going over. Uh, condition. Uh, zero looking brand new like this. Mm -hmm. All right, like this. Ten, nothing left. Five. Halfway. Halfway. Okay? Closest without going over is going to win some of my money. My money in my pocket. And I'm keeping it real. Whatever's in my pocket right now. You're not going to get. Oh, imagine you can use the new American Express Delta Sky Miles credit card. That's, a nice, that's a nice looking credit it's card. It's made of 747, right? Is it uh, actually? 747-451. The tail number is N667US. That's pretty cool. The first flight was on... The sixth of uh, the sixth June twenty eighth nineteen ninety, and the last flight was 11 18, 2017. That's pretty cool. That's pretty epic, right? If you guys would like a card like this, I'll put a link in the description box down below. Um, but I, I don't. Wow, I don't have any cash. Oh, I got fifty dollars. How about this? That's fifty dollars <laughs> in my pocket from yours. Close it without going over. Is gonna want fifty dollars. I'm keeping it real. You know what? Yesterday was fifty thousand subscribers. Today I'm gonna give away fifty bucks. Makes Closes sense. without going over. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go with four. You're going to go with four? Four. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. First time ever. What time is this? Is the November 30th, 2022. It is 1041 10. on my Apple Watch. Look at that. I like my Apple Watch. This That's is the 48 watch. millimeter. Let's go. Oh. Oh my gosh, she's fucking long. Holy shit, she's long as fuck, actually. Damn, <laughs> I can't get it out of the thing. What's up with that? <laughs> wow. She's steaming. She's steaming. She's a steamer. She's a steamer. Let's see. Can I get it out this way? No, I can't. Fuck. How do you get this thing out of here? You don't. Uh, towards me? Yeah, it's going to break. Sozo? Nope. I got it out. Sweet. But well, this shows to tell you, like this, this is the old one. Hey, look at this thing; it's like four feet tall. It's huge. And this is the same part number that they gave me for the new one. Look at that. That's nasty, right? Yes. <laughs> By the way, plumbers in the New York area never replace these. They never do. Why? This is an anode. Why? It's called job security. <laughs> you didn't. You missed all this, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Wow. All right, well, we have to give this thing a, a rating. Oh, uh, you know what? You're going to be, can you, what? I got a quick question for you. On a scale of one to 10, right? I guess 10 being the worst? 10 being the worst. 10 being like nothing left, a one being brand new like this. What would you rate this as? Dang. Okay. Worse. You, said, you said 10. Okay. They named the worst. All right. Ten, be, well, <laughs> well, ten being nothing left. Oh, how about this? Let's ask a question again. He did say 10. We'll have a runner up. 10 being nothing left. And be, this is whatever. But you said 10. But 10 being nothing left. One being brand new like this. What would you rate this as? Want to touch it? Hold it? <laughs> no? It's got a little cur. It's cur for her pleasure. <laughs> Uno? A one? One? Okay. okay. One. All right. One that's, ten. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard the guy. He gave it a one. Yeah. That's it. We're having a contest online. Oh. Right? The closest who guessed the condition of the anode rod was going to win 50 bucks. <laughs> Not bad, right? Yeah. You guessed one. <laughs> I would have guessed five. I guess four. You would have guessed four. You know what? F that. It's a five. <laughs> <laughs> the first one to guess five would actually. <laughs> that is gross. That is some nasty stuff. Look at that. It looks like barnacles. Looks like the bottom of the, uh, the SS Minnow. <laughs> the remainder of Titanic? Yes. Okay. All right. Now, congratulations. Congratulations to the winner. <clears throat> Thank you so much. And I hope, I really hope that. You know what? Sharing, sharing is caring, right? And if you hate, it's all, it's all good. Let's be friends. Maybe you need a hug. If you need a hug from Mikey Pipes, I'll give you a hug if you hate me that much. I think right? you need a hug. 
I think you need a hug. You want to hate that much, you need a hug. Maybe you need some New York Rangers tickets. You'll be cursing me out while the Rangers kick the Ottawa Senators, right? Well, you'll be sitting in my effing seats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's put this bad boy in here. It's much more convenient. Now, I am not concerned that the depth or the length of this new anode rod. Do I need to put some Teflon tape on this thing or something? I think so. I would think put some, some kind of... There's no, there's no seal there. What's on the old one? Hold on. Yeah, there was Teflon. Dope. Oh, dope. Oh, okay. Teflon. Let me grab dope. Let's get some, no, get some Teflon tape. All right, good. I'm just gonna use this sock. Oh, that really wasn't working out too well. Let's take this bad boy. This is not easy. <laughs> I can tell you that. I'm gonna go the old fashioned way. Well, actually, is there a, does our socket set accommodate this? Uh, or is it too big? No, it's way too big. Too big? That. It's not the same size as that. Yeah, no. No. Any adapters? No. Unless this, no, it's a smaller one. All right, that's what it is. Okay. Let me get the uh, thing back. Pick this up. All right, anode rod is secure. Remember, inch and one sixteenth. And take a look at how great job Peter did with the combustion chamber. There you go, nice and clean now. It's the best it's gonna get, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're gonna put the burner assembly back in. All right, and um, connect our pressure switch tubing, and that's about it. The water's back on here and there. That, I see. That's about. That sums it up. You want to review the the manual with the, with the with the with the uh, ladies and gentlemen. Did we miss anything? We did the uh, vent. We get a venting system inspection. We're going to do that next. Uh -huh. um, artificially softened water is exceedingly corrosive because of the process. Substitute sodium ions for magnesium and calcium ions. Use of water solver may decrease life expectancy of water. That's interesting uh, to know. Interesting. Now here we go. This is now again. I never did this before. Keeping it uncut, unedited, raw. The anode rod should be inspected after a maximum of three years and annually thereafter until the condition of the anode rod di dictates the replacement uh, uh, period. Artificially softened water requires the anode rod to be inspected annually. Really? So that's interesting to know. So if we have a water softening system, if you have a water softening system on your drinking, on your potable water supply and you have a water heater, you got to check that anode rod. Right? If you feel like going through cash and replacing a... A, uh, a water heater every six, seven, ten years, by all means, disregard, disregard the anode rod. But I am now, I'm not 100% convinced, to be honest with you. The water heater is five years old. I am not 100% convinced that, you know, this needs to be replaced you know, every three years. Yeah. Right? Um, but it is called the sacrificial anode rod. Man, I look like, like an effing Moses. <laughs> I'm like, what the clown on freaking whatever. It's huge. It's huge. It's a staff. Smash that thumbs up button. Smash it! You ready, Peter? Yep. Let's turn this bad boy on. Status pre-purge. There's the inducer assembly, which is here, blower. That's the gas valve. That's the ignition module. This is an electric junction box. Our anode rod was right there. Pressure switches, one, two, and three. We're in pre-purge still. Come on, baby. Ignition. Gas valve on. Flame icon. Nice graphics. Very nice graphics. You know, I wish Deathbox Incorporated had a graphic like this. Yeah, it's like the order, very nice. Order very, very nice. Look at that. In Houston, we have ignition. We got brand new anode rod. We cleaned out, well you cleaned out, the combustion chamber of all the debris and scale that was in there. We changed some gaskets, new flame rod, flame sensor in there. And I think she's five years old. She's got at least another five years. Um, tank integrity wise. I'm not talking about electrical components like the gas valve with the blower, pressure switches, things like that, display. But the tank itself, that's good. Let's make sure we add a uh, drip leg onto that and uh, we'll be good to go. Maybe we'll have some lunch because it's uh, 
10 after 11. Want some wings? Wings? Take a look at the inside of this place. Look at the woodworking here. It's just incredible. Look at this. All right, thanks. Old, old wood. Incredible, beautiful. Mike. Yes. Tell me, where did you get all this wood from? This is all from the Long Beach Boardwalk. The guy that had this before the last guy had a tow truck business. And he got all this, when they changed the wood, yeah. he got all the wood, and he did all this work. When I came in 20, what, 26 years ago, wow. I was gonna rip every, replace this crap for them. I gotta it's tell really you, this good. is beautiful stuff. Yeah, yeah. So the old Long Beach Broadwalk. Yeah, this is all in here. Now this wouldn't be. Oh, that stuff there. This, yeah, you can see it, how well it's worn and all this. Wow. That's all the, the That's Long incredible. Beach Broadwalk. That's incredible. You know, I've never been, I drove, I've been, you know, I grew up in, Nassau County, my whole life. Yeah, so, yeah, 45 yeah. years old. I've never been in here. I know long. a lot of people. But I'm. But I. But they told it was. I just saw. Time. I just saw the wings in the back. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to get oh. some wings. Yeah. I'll take some <laughs> if you want to sit down and eat yeah. some lunch, we may have. Well, we may. Or we may. We're, cle we're you cleaning up right now, so we may. All right, Peter. We're running. Yep. And good job with the drip leg. We have to press that in. Yep. And I would. Where's that piece you just had in your hand? I would normally say let's put this on to make it code compliant, mm -hmm. but it's fine. Okay. I'm not going to waste yeah. four dollars to coupling that together. But we need to make sure we restock. I have a delivery coming from FW Web today, a boatload of copper, a boatload of PVC. It's going to be, and we're going to restock with copper. We ran out, but very nice. How do you feel? A little confident now? Yeah. You think maybe next time we have one of these, you can probably do it yourself? I definitely need guidance. Okay, now, now okay, you know what, you're honest, I appreciate that. Yeah, but I am going to, we're going to start offering anode rod replacements. We're going to start doing that. It was pretty easy. And we're extending the life of the product. And you know what, I am going to be the only plumber in the New York Metropolitan area that's going to replace anode rods, I swear. Not probably. That's facts. Yeah. No one. This, listen, 20 years, over 20 years. 20, let's see, 2022? 20 and a half years, I've been working with my hands and handling pipe. Pipe, right? And this is the first time I've changed an anode rod on a gas-fired water heater. That's crazy. You notice how I, I threw in a little thing in there, gas-fired water heater. Because we have changed them before yeah. on an HD, HTP only because it was a warranty and they wanted us to see the anode rod. We actually didn't change, we put them back in. No, Daniel replaced them. HTP, the tech, titanium, indirect water heaters, the anode rods are going right on the side, one here, one down there. Yes, but I haven't changed any. You have, not me. Oh. Facts. This is the service manual and parts manual. I printed out. I bind. This is what I do for special guys, special customers. Oh, okay. Well, not special. If you have something unique, right. um, this is what we do. Okay. Should I leave it on top of the water here or should I leave it with you? Uh, leave it out there someplace. Okay, you got it. Now, how about the one I had? This is everything then that someone like me needs to know. You need to know. Yeah, someone and, like me needs to know. And my one just throw it away. The you can, just, you can just throw it away, yeah. yeah. You don't need it. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. And a pre-congratulatory comment to the winner of the New York Rangers tickets this Friday. Section 119, row C, seats three and four. You're going to have a great time. And remember, tomorrow evening, New York time, we're going to do a live stream where I'm going to do pick the winner using the YouTube random comment generator. So make sure you stick around. It's very important that you don't cheat on the, the $50 guests. Uh, I forgot what we've been talking about, but don't cheat on it, okay? Cheaters, don't be sneaky, okay? And remember, too, if you haven't done so already, you may not even realize you haven't subscribed yet. You probably love the channel. Like, oh, hit that little button right down there. It says subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get post notifications when I drop new content, which I swear it's like daily. I love it. I absolutely love this. I love engaging with the community with people like you. Thank you so much. And until next time, be well. God bless. Stay safe. Almost forgot. Threw in a 516 screw on the top. Now let's just throw on a sticker. Further strengthening. The hacks are gonna come here next. They may come here next. There we go. There it is. Stop! 
This unit may be under covered under the warranty. There's all the services that we can offer. Awesome.